Hi, right, it's time for another math easy solution to discuss further into the inscribed angle theorem and go over now where the theorem is not defined at, and that's when the angle is subtended on the minor arc. Basically, from my earlier video, I went over the inscribed angle theorem as well as what subtended means, so make sure to watch that uh, as I go through that in detail. Basically, to recap, the inscribed angle theorem or central angle theorem states that the angle inscribed in a circle is half of the central angle that subtends that same arc on the circle. And this relation holds if the angles are, if the angle, yeah, are, are the angles are subtended on the major arc. So, for example, what this means is basically if there's three cases. I'll go over the uh, the case two. I'll go over the case one in a bit, uh, basically because case two is the more common one. So if you had let's say two points like this, and now you have an angle subtended. So this this is just a visual rep representation of what subtended means. So this angle is is uh, theta, and now if you have the central angle, which is the center of the circle here, and now subtended by these same two points this angle across is going to be 2 theta but this is only if the uh, if, if this relation only holds if the angles are subtended on the major arc so in this case when you have these two points so then you're always going to get a major arc which is the larger of the arc so that's major and then the minor one is across like this this is the minor arc and now there's three kind of cases which I used in the proof. So case one now is when one of these chords goes through the center and forms the diameter. So it's like this. So if you have something exactly like like that, so this is our angle theta. And now that the central angle subtends on these two points, like this, this is going to be two theta. I did this case because I'll use this case one in our proof of uh, basically the relation we get when we deal with the minor arc. So when I say minor is instead of being suspended, sus subtended across on this major one, instead it goes to the minor one like that. And then in this case we have an angle uh, theta for just to make, write it differently than theta. And that's the relation we're gonna need to find out. And then the third case is basically when you have something like this where if this is the center right here, so notice how this center is inside this uh, angle, but if it's on the outside, so if you have something like this, so that if this is theta, and now you have the center outside, this is the case, it's three, and now if you draw this here, and now you'll get two theta there. So that's the relation. Uh, this is basically the theorem for these three cases. They all they all have the same relation. Yeah, but now uh, we have to ask ourselves basically what is the relation between the inscribed angle, which is like uh, this one right here, and the central angle here, but if the inscribed angle is inscribed in the minor arc. So instead of, the, instead of this one here, we're dealing with this right here. So basically th this angle right there. Yeah, so basically let's uh, prove this relation or basically find out what it is. So if we have a circle like this, and now we have these two points, and now instead of subtending it on the major arc, which is across here, so instead of doing that, we deal basically with this top part instead. So we would draw a line across here, so we would subtend and form an angle across like this. So we'll call this angle as basically, I'll call this, uh, theta. Actually, actually, I'll call this theta not because we'll we'll separate this into multiple uh, angles. And now the central angle is going to be well somewhere here. So then we subtend this angle across. We get something like that. And now this angle here is going to be called. I'll call this theta not right here. And the reason we do this is because when we form the relation, we're going to do the same thing as we did in my earlier video on proof of this theorem, and we're going to try to get case one. So what we would do is draw a line directly across through the center so that this, is th this forms the diameter. So this is radius r, this is radius r right there. So if we have that, 
what we get now is if I already draw let's say this angle I'll call this theta 1 and now this angle across I'll call this theta 1 and I'll just draw this in red right here just to illustrate that this this shape right here is exactly this right here which is case 1 so basically this is gonna be well from case 1 we have to write basically uh, theta 1 has to equal to well 2 times theta 1 because that's this theta 1 is, is corresponds to this and then this theta 1 corresponds to this right here and now uh, what we could also write is because we could separate this into on the right side apply case 1 so this angle right here is we'll call this theta 2 and then this angle across we'll call this theta 2 and this is exactly the same as this case 1 right there so we could write in this case as well theta 2 or, or theta 2 equals to 2 times theta 2 and now we also know that well this uh, right here theta naught or theta 0 is equal to the summation of these two so this equals to theta 1 plus theta 2 and now this case right here we know that well this at they add up to 360 so 360 degrees is equal to theta 0 plus theta 1 plus theta 2 and now we could apply these relations inside and we'll get basically uh, theta 0 is equal to 2 times theta I mean is plus 2 times theta 1 plus 2 times theta 2 so we got these terms we could also do is factor these two out of there so theta naught or theta 0 plus 2 times by theta 1 plus theta 2 and these basically equal to, to uh, theta 0 so this equals to uh, theta 0 plus theta 2 and um, plus 2 times uh, theta uh, 0 yeah, so now we have a pretty convenient uh, relation right here 360 equals to uh, theta naught plus or theta 0 plus 2 times theta 0 so now if we rearrange or first actually is divide everything by 2 divide everything by 2 we get now 180 and equals to theta naught divided by 2 plus this theta naught or in this case we'll write now theta naught is equal to move it around move this to the left side 180 minus theta 0 over 2 now if we were to basically draw this out we get here's the two points this goes like this this goes like this so now this this is the uh, theta a uh, theta naught that's just going to be well 180 minus this right here theta divided by 2 and there's a point in the center uh, like this and this is basically theta naught so now this is the relation but it doesn't look too clean so we could basically rewrite everything across over here yes yeah, so basically I'll rewrite it now if we're dealing with uh, instead of these uh, these variables we'll just draw this over again because we know that this is this part right here is half of the center angle so if we draw these two points subtend across the minor arc like this so now what we could do and then at the center is here so subtend this angle so now let's call this 2 uh, theta so we'll deal with 2 theta here and this part right here because this is 180 minus uh, theta over 2 uh, this e equals to basically yeah, this is 180 minus 2, fe 2 theta divided by 2 so this is going to be because that's uh, that's the central angle that's going to be theta or basically if I re erase this and rewrite it and now if we extend this on further this is just theta because well this is going to be 180 minus theta but we don't need to write this uh, just for neatness sake 
this is the relation that we will uh, stick with. Just so that this looks kind of like basically the theorem, the, the inscribed angle theorem. But now for the minor arc, it's we're going to have the same relation to theta up to theta, except now this is a supplementary angle. So that means that this basically, yeah, basically this plus this internal angle add up to 180. So basically that's all for today. I just wanted to show that. So now we have a very similar relation. There's a 2 theta, theta, 2 theta, theta, 2 theta, and theta. But now this is on basically if you draw, if you extend this further because here is 180 and this theta. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learn from this pretty uh, extensive example on, or this uh, extensive uh, video on inscribed angles, and also make sure to watch my earlier video on Ascribe Angle Theorem. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.